Okay. Thanks for being here. I would really appreciate you joining. This is another DMI webinar where uh, today our focus is going to be helping you to find the right fit with LTC. Nationwide is here to help us with that. And we've got uh, a great presenter in Mr. Joshua Ford. We've actually also got in the background, Jeffrey Sabota and Amy Miller, should uh, we have any questions that we together can't uh, resolve here. But then I uh, just want to say that you know, LTC is is typically the biggest cost in retirement and, and nearly 70% of your clients are going to need it, right? So we're going to discuss the problems of LTC costs, limitations of private health care insurance, limitations of Medicare. And luckily, Nationwide has an amazing solution for LTC, offering a lot of flexibility, choices, and guarantees. But uh, we've got a great team pulled together to, to talk about this. So on the DMI side of the house, we have Mr. Joshua Rem. He's our life sales VP. He brings over 15 years of life experience. And Maureen Walker, my content strategist, she's here to help us with q and I'm actually not sure how many years of experience she has in marketing, but it's extensive. And maybe she wouldn't even want me to reveal that. I really appreciate you guys being here and, and uh, engaging with us. Josh, I'll, I'll hand it off to you. Mr. Ram, any thoughts today on the on the topic? Yeah, that's going to be confusing because we got two Joshes today. We got to yeah, use the the last name. We'll do our best to deal with that. Yeah, but no, just just to piggyback on what Len said, like long term care is one of the biggest expenses, especially during the income phase of the retirement plan. And then we have a lot of these conversations because of that with advisors. I had an interesting one yesterday. And an advisor said that his clients will often say, well, we don't need the long-term care insurance because we'll self-insure. And we agree that that's a misnomer because they can't really self-insure. I mean, they're self-paying, which means they're utilizing assets and income that might be earmarked for other things. And typically, you might withdraw those assets much faster than what any portfolio returns can replenish. So self-insuring is a misnomer, it's a false comfort um, because they're actually self-paying. Now to self-insure is truly to leverage those assets into an insurance policy like what Joshua Ford will describe and using those assets, repositioning them to transfer that risk in order to have a source of income to pay for long-term care outside of portfolio assets. So that's truly what self-insuring is. Paying for long-term care insurance is a very important topic that people don't fully understand. And that's why we have great partners like uh, those with Nationwide and Josh Ford who can help us understand the principles of this so your clients are protected and your financial plans are very sound. So very fortunate to have Mr. Ford here. That's all I have to say, and I'll, I'll kick it over to him. Thanks, Josh. Can you still hear me loud and clear? We got you. Sound great, Josh. I appreciate it. Well, again, thanks everyone for joining us early this afternoon or maybe morning for anyone uh, outside of the East Coast. And we're happy to bring you know some content that will help you as advisors and help your clients. You know, as was mentioned by both Glenn and Josh R, long-term care is one of the most important pieces of the financial puzzle. And it's often the final thing that clients think about, you know, when they think about retirement. You know, they have all their insurance in place. They have succession plans. Your affluent clients may have even done some estate planning. But what they haven't accounted for is what's going to happen if they have any sort of health-related event in their old age. So what we want to do today is we really want to approach the long-term care conversation holistically. You know, we want to start with, you know, what this LTC thing really is. Where does it take place? You know, what are the realities? We'll then transition into a potential solution for long-term care being the Care Matters platform. That is the product that we offer here at Nationwide. And then we'll talk about ways to position long-term care to your clients, who to look for, how can you design the product, and what are some best sales tactics. So again, you know, throughout today's conversation, everything we're going to be talking about is completely uh, meant for educational purposes. You know, we would just like to always say that, you know, we can lead you to water, but we can't tell you when to drink when it comes to some of these recommendations. But this is really meant to help you understand that long-term care conversation. So without further ado, let's get started with the first piece of the puzzle is what is long-term care? Why are we here? Why is this important? Why is this something our clients should think about? 
And when we think about long-term care, I often ask clients, you know, just take a second and construct an individual in your mind. When you hear the words long-term care, who do you see? Oftentimes, clients reply, you know, they see an elderly person in a nursing home, you know, maybe even wheelchair bound. You know, they really look at end of life. And while that is certainly a piece of what long-term care is, right, that's not all of what it is. Here at Nationwide, you know, we are a carrier with claims experience in the long-term care space. And even prior to the pandemic, only 14% of our clients were in nursing homes. But 14, that means 86% of our clients were receiving care elsewhere, whether it's assisted living or in their own homes. So right there, we should begin the long-term care conversation, not with planning for nursing homes, because that's not where people are. That's not where they want to be. We should be helping to have a conversation about staying independent as long as you physically can. And staying independent can be in some sort of assisted living facility. It can be at home with professional care, or it can be at home with unprofessional or informal care as we talk about it. And when we think about the realities of aging, we should be thinking about, well, what happens to us today if we have some sort of impairment? You know, if I got sick and I got the flu and I was down for, you know, a few days, maybe a week, Who's going to take care of me? That will be my girlfriend, uh, much to, she may be somewhat reluctant, but she'll do it, right? She's going to be the one to bring me the soup. She's going to be the one going to the store. She's going to help me out. Uh, as we age, more often than not, the first line of defense for helping us as we are sick are our informal caregivers or our friends and family members. So again, when we talk about long-term care, we're not talking about just nursing homes, 24-hour you know, care wheelchair bound. Uh, we're talking about trying to stay home and trying to plan for that event in our own comfortable space. And when clients hear long-term care from a funding standpoint, uh, sometimes they are not going to be as open to the conversation because they think that it's not important and it's not something that they should have to plan for. And on the screen, you see the three biggest misconceptions that we hear about the long-term care conversation. Oftentimes, clients think that their health insurance will cover long-term care. Health insurance doesn't do that. You no, know, health insurance is really designed for those doctor's visits, for those medical procedures. But health insurance doesn't cover getting you to and from the doctor. It doesn't cover the nurse helping you at home, getting your medications, helping you to eat, get up and down the stairs, maybe even bathe and dress yourself. Right? Health insurance doesn't cover those costs. Neither does Medicare. Right? Medicare is something that is designed, again, for healthcare costs. Medicare may cover up to the first 100 days of an LTC stay, but your clients have to be in a hospital for at least three consecutive days before Medicare will pay just that small amount for the long-term care event. So again, Medicare isn't designed to be a long-term care solution, but neither is Medicaid for most of your clients. You now, people think Medicaid, you know, it's the government program for long-term care. It will cover me. What they don't think or they don't realize is that the plan is really designed for those who can't pay for long-term care themselves. Generally speaking, to qualify for Medicaid, and this does change from state to state, uh, an individual has to have $2,000 of countable assets or less. $2,000. If they have a dollar above that $2,000 threshold, they will not qualify for Medicaid. And uh, most of your clients won't be in a position where they have spent down to $2,000 of assets. And even if they were to be planning to use Medicaid, oftentimes that's just an inefficient strategy. They had to spend through that entire portfolio of assets that you're helping them to build just to rely on the government for their long-term care needs. So again, when we have the beginning of this conversation, you know, what is long-term care? You know, it's not nursing home planning, it's stay-at-home planning. And the common things that people think have them covered actually will not cover them at all. And those three being health insurance, Medicare and Medicaid. You know, these programs or these types of policies are just not designed to cover the long-term care expenses of your clients. One of the big things that we don't really talk about or clients don't really realize as well is how expensive long-term care can be. Even if you have affluent clients who may be able to afford in their mind to pay for long-term care, they may not really realize the price tag that is associated with it. In today's dollars, the average long-term care stay or long-term care cost, whether it is on the low end at home or on the high end in a nursing home, that can run you anywhere between $5,000 and $11,000 a month. 
five to 11 or about 60,000 to about 120,000 a year. Most clients can't afford to pay that out of pocket. And even if they can, it does come with a lot of portfolio liquidation, a pretty big tax bill and the deconstruction of the retirement plan that clients really weren't planning for. So again, when we talk about long-term care, there's more to the puzzle and clients really need to realize just how expensive this can be and what that can do to their retirement. The one question that I would have you ask your clients if you want to approach the long-term care conversation with them is where would you get the money if you needed sixty dollars to $120,000 tomorrow, right? You fell ill. What are you going to sell in order to pay for that? Make the conversation real and make them understand just how important it is. So that's why long-term care? You know, we're here to solve an issue of funding for the client's future. You know, we don't want them to self-pay for long-term care. That is something that if they can do it, will cost them much more than they need to. And if they're not prepared, it's something that can lead to mass liquidation in the portfolio. But what we can do to help them solve that problem is have them plan for long-term care with some sort of solution. And today we'll talk about nationwide solutions, but there's a variety of options in the marketplace. And even here at Nationwide, there are a variety of solutions. You know, we offer long-term care uh, on all of our life insurance products. And we also offer our flagship long-term care solution, which is Care Matters. And that's where we'll spend most of our time today. I like to show this graphic on the screen here because it does a really, really good job of showing how committed Nationwide is to the long-term care business. You know, we're not just a new carrier with one product. We have a variety of solutions and we've evolved over the years and we continue to evolve. The Care Matters 2 is our individual product, uh, but we've even added a joint product recently, about a month ago, called Care Matters Together. So again, long-term care is something that clients should plan for. And, and today we'll talk about Care Matters 2 and how that can help them to plan for a LTC event. Well, then let's talk about how these products work and how it's built. You know, what is this Care Matters solution? Well, Care Matters, it's what you call a hybrid or asset-based long-term care program. It is a life insurance policy that we add long-term care riders to. The graphic on the screen does a really good job of showing you conceptually how Care Matters works. And again, this graphic works for both Care Matters 2 and the joint Care Matters Together product. So it's a good thing to have down. When your client puts in money into this investment being Care Matters, they purchase a life insurance policy. And the example on the screen, the client paid 100,000. The death benefit is 180,000. That death benefit is meant to act as a safety net. So if your client does you know, live until 100 years old, passes away peacefully in their sleep, never needs long-term care, they at least get their money back plus a little bit. But if your client needs long-term care, we spend through their death benefit or we accelerate the death benefit for the long-term care claims. At some point, you know, if they do need long-term care, they would spend their death benefit to zero and they would transition to using that blue bar on the screen, which is an extension rider. So they would have a base insurance policy. We add on a pure long-term care insurance rider and that comprises the Care Matters platform. So in the example on the screen, the client input $100,000. Looking to the far right, that $100,000 leveraged up about five and a half times to about $540,000 of long-term care. And that comes out to them at $7,500 per month. The Care Matters platforms are completely guaranteed. So if your client did proceed and you know look at a contract like this one, they can rest assured that that premium that they put in generates a guaranteed death benefit and a guaranteed pool of long-term care that they can access should they fall ill and need that long-term care coverage. One of the best things about this product as well is that it is tax-free. So once your clients do need the care, they can go ahead and pull the money out and it's not countable as income tax to them because it is a qualified pool of money. And this is guaranteed portfolio protection. So if you're looking to help your clients solve this piece that's missing in their financial portfolio, looking at a product like Care Matters helps you to have a definitive amount of protection, in this case about over half a million dollars, that they have that they won't be calling you for as the advisor. You know, should they fall ill, they're not calling you asking for $7,500 a month. They're calling nationwide. 
and they're getting that tax-free benefit to pay for those costs that they have incurred. And there's a lot of information on the screen here, uh, but what I really want us to focus on is the right-hand side of the screen where it says Care Matters 2, because what I want to talk about are a few key features and some differentiators that allow us as Care Matters to be a good preferred product for your clients and a viable solution for long-term care. So we are a cash indemnity product, and I'll talk about what that means in just a second. But if you're looking for clients to have the conversation with using Care Matters, we offer from ages 30 to 75. So a very, very broad audience of individuals. We have multiple return to premium options. We also offer multiple payment options. So traditionally, these types of solutions were single premium. So a lot of individuals thought they were for the affluent only, you know, individuals who had 70, 80,000 to reposition. But the Scare Matters 2 platform actually offers five different payment options. So we still can take single premiums, including 1035 exchanges from other life contracts. But we can also offer a five-year pay, a 10-year pay, uh, pay to 65, and a lifetime or pay to 100 feature. So this product is, again, not just meant for those ultra mass affluent clients. Many individuals that we write with this product write on our 10 pay or our pay to 65. They're paying for a period of time. And instead of, again, doing $100,000, let us say single premium, they may do $7,000 a year for 10 years, something much more digestible and something that they can actually afford. Those premiums can also be set up annually or monthly. So if you have those clients who want that automatic draft, you know, just like they're doing with their 401k, their 529 plan, you know, anything like that, we can set Care Matters up on a multi-pay monthly, and it comes out of their account every single month very similarly to those other products that they're currently funding. But there's a lot of variety in which this product can work. I want to focus on that cash indemnity piece. And then I want to focus on our elimination period and how that differentiates us in the marketplace. So let's start with indemnity. What, what does that mean? So when you purchase long-term care in general, there's really two ways in which you can get the funds out of the contract. You can either have a reimbursement style or a cash indemnity style product. With a reimbursement plan, you have to get the receipts each month from the carrier or the care provider and submit those to the carrier. So an example would be your client needs long-term care. You know, they got diagnosed with dementia, for example. They would pay for the care. The care provider gives them a receipt. The client submits the receipt to the carrier. The carrier looks at the itemized bill and they pay the client back for the LTC expenses. With indemnity, which is what Nationwide offers on all of our products, we are just a cash benefit. The best way to think about that is a direct deposit once you qualify for care. So we don't require bills or receipts. We don't require professional care. Once you qualify for long-term care, the money is yours. Clients get access to that full monthly benefit and there are zero restrictions from Nationwide with how they spend the money. So if your client, let's say, has access to $8,000 a month for long-term care, their care only costs $6,000 a month, we still pay you $8,000. That additional two thousand of unused benefit dollars, they can spend that how they see fit, right? They can spend that money on prescription drugs to make those cheaper. They can hire someone to mow their lawn and help out around the house. Uh, they can buy groceries, right? The sky is really the limit with this cash indemnity style benefit. And when you think about indemnity, the one word that should come to mind is completely flexible benefit, and the clients can use the dollars how they see fit. And I like to talk through a quick hypothetical example of the difference between this indemnity style payout and a reimbursement. So let's say in this setting, using this example on the screen, you have a client who is purchasing long-term care, assuming everything is equal in the contracts, same premium, same benefits, same type of company. You know, they're very, very similar. The only difference between the two solutions is that one is a reimbursement plan and one is a cash indemnity plan. So in the example, your client signed up for a long-term care policy that paid $8,000 a month. When they actually need care, they're on claim for four years and they're using $4,000 a month to pay for home health care costs. So in this example, looking to the right, if your client had a reimbursement plan, when they go on claim, they're going to, again, receive the care, pay for it out of pocket, get a receipt, and then get paid back for the actual long-term care expense. So though they're signed up for $8,000, because the expense is only $4,000, well, they only get $4,000. Over the course of a four-year claim that takes place this way, the client's 
would have received $192,000 of tax-free benefit, which is a pretty good deal, right? You're getting almost 200 grand of tax-free long-term care. We can make that story even better with an indemnity plan. So same scenario, four years, $4,000 a month is the cost. Your client qualifies for $8,000 a month. We don't want the bills and receipts, so we just direct deposit you $8,000. So over the course of the exact same claim, the same experience, same care provider, your client would have made $384,000 in long-term care benefits, still tax-free as opposed to 192. So in this example, just by choosing an indemnity carrier, the client is able to get twice as much LTC benefit out the contract than they would have with the reimbursement plan. Again, I think a reimbursement plan is something that can work in certain clients' uh, situations and scenarios. But if you do have a client who wants to stay home, maybe they want to hire a friend or family member or a home health care agent to take care of them, an indemnity plan will provide that flexibility and may pay out significantly more in LTC than a reimbursement plan can. So this is always something to be conscious of when you are recommending LTC solutions to your clients. The last thing I'll touch on from a differentiator's perspective is the elimination period associated with our solution. This is something that's very different. And if you've done any long-term care and you haven't looked at nationwide, this is something to pay attention to. We're the only carrier in the industry that operates this way. So with our solution, we do have a 90 calendar day, not service days, but calendar day waiting period. So if your client goes on claim, let's say January 1st, they need care for the first 90 days. So January, February, and March, they wouldn't receive a benefit from Nationwide as they satisfy that waiting period or deductible period or elimination period, right? All three terms are synonymous. But what happens at day 91 or the beginning of month four is we pay them back for the benefits they missed plus the benefit they're due in month four. And I like examples. So let's say your client signs up for $10,000 a month of LTC. The first three months, they wouldn't receive anything. So January, February, March. But April 1st, we pay them back. So if they're signed up for $10,000, their first benefit payment from Nationwide is $40,000 of tax-free long-term care benefit. And the way that I position this is as the stay-at-home benefit. Your clients get this large sum of money. This is what they can use to really transform the house. They can put a ramp on the front stairs. They can put that chairlift inside to get them up and down. They can put rails in the bathroom. They can lower counters, right? They may be even uh, able to put a down payment on a car if they need something that's wheelchair accessible. You know, maybe they need a minivan now, right? The sky is really the limit and the clients can get as creative as they need to with this retroactive or stay at home payment that the clients are going to receive. Anytime you're looking at a Nationwide Care Matters illustration, I implore you to look at the client's benefit at age 80, and multiply that by four, and position that as the first payment they're getting from Nationwide, and watch the client's eyes light up. You know, oftentimes, clients will have 50, 60, 70,000 of LTC that's coming to them as their first payment, and that's something that's guaranteed and is built into our policy, so it's something that they are going to see. And it is something that can provide a tremendous amount of benefit to them. Hey, Josh, this is Jeff real quick. Yes. And we've got a, a question from April. It says the client must spend the death benefit before they can use the LTC benefit. If you want to clarify exactly how you would explain that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so the death benefit, once they need claim, it's part of the LTC benefit. So it's all kind of one big pool of money. It's just the death benefit is the first thing that is spent through. So good question. You know, the death benefit is just spent down first. I will add that at some point, if your client does go on claim, their death benefit may equal zero. But what Nationwide offers, and I'll back up a few slides just to provide a visual on this, we offer what we call a residual death benefit. So in a scenario where your client goes on long-term care, spends through their initial death benefit, or even the full long-term care pool, you know, all half a million dollars in the example on the screen. We still pay out a residual death benefit that's equivalent to 20% of the initial death benefit. So in this case, even if the client spends a half a million dollars of LTC, they're still gonna get 36,000 of residual death benefit paid out to their families at the end of the day. So good question there. So again, we just talked about Care Matters. You know, It is a life insurance policy with long-term care riders on it. It is fully guaranteed. It pays a cash 
benefit and the elimination period on the product uh, pays back retroactively. So it's something that's very robust uh, and it's something that can be very flexible with your clients. And as we transition into this kind of final piece of it is who do we look for, right? How can we position this product? What are some client ages and demographics? So we'll really just talk through some sample sales concepts. And for me, you know, when we talk about clients to look at, I really break down clients into three separate groups. And this is something that if you have a pen and paper or a pencil or your notes app on your phone up, this would be a great time to just jot down a few notes and maybe some clients that come to mind. So when I think about clients for Care Matters, I think about three categories. I think about cash strong clients. I think about income clients or asset clients, you know, the CIA clients. So we'll focus first on cash clients. These are individuals from an age perspective who are generally 55 plus. We say 55 plus because these are the clients who are pretty strong from a cash perspective. You know, they have a good amount of savings. Maybe they have some CDs. They have a couple bonds coming up. Uh, these may be the individuals who are going to have some life altering event, being selling a home, selling a business, maybe got an inheritance recently. And these are the individuals who may be great candidates for single premium deposits to pay for their long-term care. As was mentioned previously, you know, these are the clients who feel as though they can self-pay for long-term care, but they can never self-insure, right? They're not using the grouping concept of an insurance company. And while these individuals may be able to pay for long-term care themselves, investing their money somewhere like Care Matters can be a much more beneficial strategy. And I'll just talk to a quick example. So let's say you have a client with $100,000. They, they sold a business for half a million. They want to peel off a hundred grand for long-term care. They think they can pay for LTC themselves. So they're going to take that hundred thousand and put it somewhere conservative. When they need care, they're going to spend through that first hundred grand. And then they're still going to be calling you. You know, we still have a bill for long-term care. We didn't get a lot of leverage from the plan that we use. What do we sell? If we had the client instead invest the money with Nationwide, there's immediate leverage on the policy. So they put that 100000 in, instead of putting it under the mattress, they put it with Care Matters, they get 540000 in this example of long-term care. So immediate leverage. Again, if they die, they get leverage on the death benefit, which is 180000 in this example. And because you spend through your own investment first, you know, you spend through your death benefit when you go on claim, their actual experience will be very similar. So they'll spend through that first hundred grand of death benefit, which comes out again at 7,500 per month. But the key differentiator with investing with Care Matters is that once you spent through your initial investment, instead of calling you as the agent looking for more funds to pay for long-term care, they continue to call nationwide. And they still have about 400,000 as example of long-term care that they can access, which protects their portfolio from that unnecessary expense. And there's still that residual death benefit. So again, if you have these cash strong clients, you know, ages 55 plus, they may be able to self-pay for long-term care, but we can do that more efficiently by utilizing Care Matters as the vehicle that pays out the benefit that they'll use for those long-term care expenses. So those are cash clients. Uh, the second group of clients are income heavy clients. These are individuals who are usually 55 and under. And these are the individuals who we call Henry's at Nationwide. They are high earners who are not rich yet. They're Henry's. And these are the individuals who are in their peak earning years. They may not have $100,000 to reposition, but they can do, let's say, $10,000 a year over 10 years. These are the clients that we can get in while they're young. There is an underwriting component, so they have less health issues generally the younger they are. So we can get the clients in young lock in their long-term care because we are a guaranteed solution and we can still get them covered. There's a lot of numbers on the screen, but this is just a nice example of what can happen if we look at a Henry client. This individual is 55 years old. They're doing a 10K, 10 pay or $10,000 a year for 10 years. And what you see on the screen is how their benefits evolve over time. So from their first premium, looking at that third column, they get immediate LTC leverage through... 10,000 buys them 337,000 day one. But we added on a 3% compound rider. So with this policy, over time, the LTC will grow. So they pay for it over time. And then by the time they're age 80, which is the average long-term care age, they're looking at over 700,000 
of guaranteed long-term care protection. So these Henry clients can see a tremendous amount of value with paying over time, and they're still building up that nest egg for long-term care. These may be the same individuals that, as I mentioned previously, we set them on a monthly pay. They still may be contributing to their retirement. They are contributing to other things. We can set this up, you know, 700 bucks a month EFT, and we can take that money out so it feels the same to them as all their other investment strategies. We also show a rate of return on our products. Oh, sorry. So if the clients are looking at this from an investment standpoint, we do show them what the rate of return is over time. And the number that you'll see on the Care Matters illustration is going to be the net because we are tax-free. If you compared our IRR to what they would have to get in the market, let's say our IRR is 8.5%, they would actually have to get 10, 10 and a half percent before tax to max what we're giving them after tax. And it's very difficult to guarantee a client that for the next 25 years, we're going to get you 10 and a half percent every single year. So that's why this Care Matters conversation is a phenomenal one because it is locked in and has those guarantees. So the last thing that I'll share uh, before I transition over to our joint product really briefly, are our asset-heavy clients. Our asset-heavy clients are really those individuals who are age 59 and a half or older, more on the pre-retiree side. They may not have a lot of liquid cash, but they have assets like a 401k, an IRA, or some sort of annuity that we may be able to repurpose for long-term care. These individuals are key candidates for the use of a SPIA or an immediate annuity to pay for LTC. And here's how we do that. Let's say we have a 60 year old client who has a very large IRA. We can transfer those funds from the IRA to an immediate annuity that is gonna be a tax-free transfer. We can set that annuity on a 10 year period certain. So we're gonna have it liquidate that money over 10 years. We take those annual distributions from the annuity and we put that into Care Matters on a 10 pay schedule. And we're turning a taxable pool of money in that IRA into a tax free vehicle with Care Matters. It is two separate sales. So it is an opportunity for you to look at two separate products. But if you have those clients who, like most people, have their money tied up in qualified accounts, using an annuity helps us to get the money out, taxed, put into Care Matters, and then turned into a guaranteed tax-free LTC strategy. So again, if we're thinking about clients to look at for long-term care, you know, we generally look at three categories, the cash strong clients, age 55 plus, a lot of assets. We look at income heavy clients or those Henry's, right? Age 55 and under who can pay over time. Or we look at asset strong clients who have their money tied up. They're generally age 60 plus, And we can take the money and use an immediate annuity to get the money from being a taxable asset to a tax-free asset in the Care Matters platform. So when we look at this type of product versus an IUL with a rider, there are two different solutions for two different people. So if you're looking at something like a hybrid, like a Care Matters, the way that the product is built is long-term care is the primary goal. The death benefit is secondary. If you look at an IUL or any sort of other life with a rider, the death benefit is going to be the primary goal. The LTC is secondary. So if you have somebody who needs more legacy, they need, need more death benefit, and LTC is the secondary option, the life with the rider is going to be the route that they go. No hybrid product can compete with that. If your clients want long-term care first and death benefit is secondary, then Care Matters is the way to go, and the IULs can't compete with that. You know, they're two separate products, even though they're similar. They're two separate solutions for two different types of people with different needs. Josh, I couldn't agree more. And, and I, I sometimes explain it, uh, even when you have a married couple, husband and wife. Glenn, you mentioned in the beginning, seven out of 10 people are going to need long-term care. Every one of us as a man said, yeah, but not me. And <laughs> and that, that death benefit is what I'm worried about, but I add the protection of long-term care just in case. Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of times, generally, you have the female that has been a caregiver or experienced it with a family member, and they're more long-term care focused. So I've seen scenarios where you've presented care matters to, to one spouse and life with long-term care to another, again, depending on their needs, perceptions, and experiences. Another question that, that I, honestly, I think I had the same question on the, the, the slide where you showed the IRR, it was the IRR to the death benefit. Is there an IRR to the long-term care benefit? Yes, we do show the IRR to the long-term care on the actual illustrations. Yep. 
Okay. Yes. And then the single premium op cash option does not require underwriting. I want you to maybe go through quickly underwriting for Care Matters. Yes. So underwriting for Care Matters, it's we do have underwriting, so there's no guaranteed or, or simplified issue, but we are a streamlined process. So all we need is we need an application, which can be done online. And the underwriting itself is a health questionnaire. So the health questionnaire can be done online as well or over the phone with a registered nurse. Takes about 45 minutes if they choose the phone option. Clients who are age 60 plus also have to do a cognitive screen. It's pretty short, 10 to 15 minutes. And it's, you know, name 10 animals, you know, spell your name backwards, you know, very, very easy uh, third to fourth grade level. So while we don't have a simplified or guaranteed issue product, we are a streamlined application process where from start to finish, you know, I think our average turnaround time right now is about 20 days, calendar days. So you can certainly expect, you know, if you submit a nice clean uh, piece of business to have that place within about three weeks. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. And I'm gonna, not going to take your thunder, but Care Matters together. I know everybody's excited yes. about it as well. Yes. And that'll be the last thing that I touch on. So everything that we discussed today from a product perspective, you know, we really focused on Care Matters 2, which is our individual long-term care product. So if you have, you know, one person who is applying for LTC, that Care Matters 2 product is going to be a phenomenal solution for them. What we've actually implemented again, a month ago, about six weeks ago now, is a joint option. So if you had those husband and wife cases where they both want to get on one long-term care plan, we have a product coined Care Matters Together that is a very good option. And it is something that uh, is certainly making waves in the industry. Uh, we're the only carrier with a joint indemnity product. So you certainly have uh, a very unique solution in front of you. And I'm just going to talk through that very briefly Fortunately, everything I talked about from a Care Matters 2 perspective fits here. You know, we just updated the product by allowing two lives. And it's a true shared care platform. So if you have a husband and wife on the policy, they have one policy, either one of them can use it, and it's still fully guaranteed. And it's true shared care. So let's say you have a husband and wife both on the contract. The husband can use, let's say, the first two years. He passes away. Later on, the wife can access the policy and she can use the remaining six years on the contract. One key differentiator that I will point out is that it is a true shared care. So I know I mentioned it's an eight year policy, but it's really, you know, 96 months. And if you have both insured on the contract at the same time, claiming at the same time, the policy will be liquidated more quickly than eight years. So in the example on the screen here, the first client goes on claim first, they're on claim for about two years, the second client then also needs claim and they're claiming from the policy concurrently. They both get their own monthly benefits. So let's say they'd signed up for $10,000 a month. If they're both on claim at the same time, they don't split the 10 grand. They each get their own 10 grand. So it's a very, very good option. But again, for those clients who are married, maybe they want to get on one contract together. The underwriting is still the same, still that streamlined process, but this is certainly a very, very good choice or good option rather for individuals who would like to get on that policy at the same time. One of the key draws to this product, and I'll just show you quickly here, is underwriting. I know, as I mentioned, with the individual product, you know, we have that health questionnaire that clients have to go through, and that's a pass-fail style system. So if you're applying for Care Matters 2, you either get Care Matters as illustrated or you are postponed or potentially declined due to health concerns. With the joint product, it's not just pass-fail. We have a preferred and a standard rating class. So let's say if you have a wife uh, who is applying you know, with her husband, the wife is very healthy. She's a preferred risk. The husband may be able to come in at a standard risk. And this is important because those standard risk cases on the Care Matters Together are actually the clients on our individual product. So if you have a, a husband and wife scenario where the husband has a few underwriting concerns, maybe A1C, maybe height, weight, uh, maybe blood pressure, where he can't get his own contract, if the wife is healthy, he may be able to get in with this Care Matters Together policy and get meaningful long-term care coverage. So with Nationwide, I, I think it's, again, it's important to remember uh, we have a variety of solutions. We have those IULs with long-term care. We have VUL with long-term care. We have Care Matters, you know, our individual long-term care products. 
and we have Care Matters Together, a joint long-term care product. So if you're looking to help your clients approach the long-term care conversation, we have a variety of solutions that can really help fit any type of situation that you're looking at. And with this product, you know, oh, here we go. Again, you don't have to pay at once. You can pay single pay or you can pay over time all the way up to a lifetime pay. So there are a variety of funding options that are available with nationwide long-term care products. So that concludes most of my content for today. Uh, I'll give a quick summary because I know we talked about a lot of information. First, we started with why long-term care and what it is. You know, long-term care is not nursing home planning. It is stay-at-home planning. A lot of our clients don't really think about themselves in a long-term care scenario because they don't understand what it is or they think they have it covered. A great phrase that I use for long-term care is that it is the single greatest unfunded liability that the clients face. And when you think about it, they have plans for everything. They have life insurance, succession planning, business insurance. If they're anything like me, they have a plan for if they won that you know billion dollar lottery, even though you didn't play, right? You have plans for everything, but they don't have a plan for long-term care. So it's the single greatest unfunded liability that clients face. Then we transitioned into Care Matters. Care Matters is a life insurance product with long-term care riders. It is guaranteed. The benefits are tax-free and it is a cash indemnity solution. And if you're looking for clients to approach the long-term care conversation with, certainly look at one or more of the three categories. Your cash strong individuals, 55 plus with a lot of sideline assets. Look at your income strong Henry's who maybe they can't do a single premium, but they can pay over time. Or look at your asset strong clients and utilize immediate annuities to make those taxable assets into non-taxable or tax-free distributions from a Care Matters platform. And I encourage everyone, just think about one client or one couple that you have, just one. Write down their names, look at their situation, and have that conversation with your team over at DMI about what sort of long-term care solutions may be viable for them and how Care Matters could potentially fit into their scenario. And Josh, we got a really interesting question. I want to thank okay. whoever, whoever asked this, but... Do these policies have bed reservation guarantees and other similar benefits like this? So it's a cash contract. So you can pay for whatever it is that you need to pay for. There's no restriction at all from Nationwide. So once you qualify, once your doctor says my client has dementia and they need assistance, you can take that monthly benefit and spend it however it is that you need it. So, you know, good question. And the best thing to think about is indemnity is flexibility. Another question just came in. And if someone starts out with the 20-pay option and they get an inheritance or lump sum during that process, can they pay the remaining balance and be done? They can, absolutely. Uh, to be transparent, there's no discount associated with doing that. Uh, but if they would just like to pay it up and not have to worry about missing premiums, you certainly can. That's all for the questions, Josh. Thank you. Thank you, DMI. Thank you. You know, I'll let DMI finish it up, but we appreciate that. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give uh, Josh Ram a chance to to uh, make any observations, comments, whatever you like, Josh. But, but Josh, Josh Ford, I just like to say, man, I, I really appreciate that that presentation is fantastic. I think there's a lot to unpack in there and I, I, we'd like to have you back probably to, to uh, explore some of the detail that was in there that that uh, I thought was really interesting. So, but uh, Josh, what did, what did you think, bud? I think you did a great job. I think it was, um, first of all, very transparent about how the product works and where this LTC benefit is coming from, because that's, that's important for a client. They don't necessarily need to understand how the watch works, so to speak, but to know how this functions will help them understand that it, that it is a valuable resource. And in all honesty, I'm not just saying this because it's a good thing to say on, on the topic of LTC, my grandparent in-laws are going through this, my wife's grandparents. Their advisor did a tremendous job building a portfolio. They protected them against market risk. They protected them against interest rate risk. There was no long-term care insurance. It was we can self-insure, self-fund. So that, that portfolio in Washington, D.C. at about $15,000 a month for their care for a couple. And whatever they had set aside for that is, is just about gone. And now we're hitting portfolio assets. So all of uh, everything you're saying is a true story. And this is a great, great uh, solution. So then the next step is, like you said, and that was a great slide too, where does the money come from? So now we go into the who do you know phase? Who do I know in my book of business? Who have I talked to last week that has the assets, has the excess cash? What Henry's are in my book of business? So we can go and help them and not for nothing, add an additional source of good revenue to our practices, right? Because we are 
We are here to make some money while giving, you know, best interest fiduciary solutions to clients. We can do both. So great job, Josh. Thank you very much for being here. Yes. And uh, so one last thing, I, you know, actually, we, we have another question and uh, we have a few minutes. So Mr. Ford, uh, what if on a 20 pay client, what, what if a 20 pay uh, client goes on claim? I think that's so, the question. Yes. So there, there's two separate answers, uh, one for our individual product, one for the joint product. With the individual product, if you do go on claim while paying in, you, one of two things would happen. One, you can choose what we call a reduced paid up policy. So we give you a smaller contract based on the premiums paid and nothing else is due. Or again, on our individual contract, you can continue to make your premiums. But again, we're a cash indemnity policy. So if you're getting eight grand a month for Nationwide and your premium for the year is 10,000, you can pay for your premium essentially with the benefits that you get from the policy. So the individual contract, again, the care matters too. It's either reduced paid up or pay your premiums each year and you can use your LTC benefits for that. Okay. With the joint product really quickly, uh, there's a full waiver of premium while you're on claim. So if you do go on claim at any point while you're paying in, it is completely waived. No premiums are due. No need to look at reduced paid up or you know paying it from your policy. Care matters together, full waiver of premium. Fantastic. Great. Well, thanks for the response. That's, that's great. Hey, so one last thing. If if this presentation has you thinking about your clients or maybe how you approach prospects with this or anything else or any calculations you might need uh, in considering LTC products that are out there, reach out to Joshua Rem. He's, he's very happy to help you. And please always remember, we have a, a plethora of uh, content on dmiuniversity.com addressing subjects like these. So don't forget to use that as a helpful, helpful uh, resource. And uh, Joshua's uh, con contact information is there. His email, his phone number, 781-919-2325, jrem at dmi.com. And uh, I think that's it for today, guys. But uh, great one. And really appreciate all the questions, all the engagement. And uh, until next time, I'll say goodbye. Thank you so much, everybody. Yep. Take care. Thanks, Mr. Okay.